Hello, 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 and welcome to Sheila's time of the month. Oh, it's that time again. That's right. Of course, with every time of the month, I have a guest to talk to. And today, my guest is a much sought after soon to be releasing album. Who knows when? The great and always fantastic, fabulous, tall Tangachi girl. Her <laughs> name is Puva. Hello, hello. Hello, Puva. Welcome back to BFF. Thank you. So, I'm so glad to be here again. I know. So, the last time you came here, you came to talk about your own music. How's That's that right. going? Oh, that was my music? Yeah. It's great. It's great. It's going great. Uh, my album's going to be released soon. My single's going to be released soon. And What's it called? It's called Hello. That's right, darling. <laughs> Can you hear me say hello? <laughs> Can anybody hear me? She knows the lyrics to my I song. Know. This girl is going to be stadium big. Stadium big, I tell you. And you're going to be, let's promo your next show, which is right. really soon. It's in a few days on April the 5th. That's right. Yes, That's where right. is it? It's going to be No Black Tie. That's right. She's always performing in this No Pants Allowed, No Slippers, Please, and No Black Tie. Yeah, it's all it's only strange places. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I grew up in no black tie, so You no did? <laughs> but there's no bedroom there. <laughs> Where did you stay? No, I um No Black Tie was the first place that I was performing a lot of my original songs and so I'm very gr- grateful to No Black Tie. Yeah. And talking about non-original songs, mm-hmm. because after the night of doing your original yeah. songs on April the 5th, correct? Right. And then April 6th and 7th you're doing some Lancy show, right? <laughs> also at this no bow tie, no slippers allowed place, right? Oh, I love her. Um yeah, this is going to be No Black uh, Tie. It's called the uh, Winnie a tribute for Winnie Houston. So, yeah, I'll be sharing the stage with Roz and Elvira. Oh my god, two other drag queens. <laughs> 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 no, actually, one is a drag fun. queen. One fun. is a drag queen, and the other one is Ross. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a dairy, very dairy. So, since you already came on BFM to talk about your yeah. own music, let's talk about everybody else's music. Sure. Yeah. What? Yeah. Who do you like locally? Wow, <laughs> that's a tough one. Um, well, I have to say, I I enjoy Richmond's music. Okay, um, okay. Alvira is Another also great. Another Oh, that one also Tangachi. <laughs> what? Oh, you like Tangachi, yeah? Um, I like uh, no. Uh, no what? Uh, singer from uh, oh, I can't remember the band. Uh, it's a rock band. Do you know? No, no. No. Yes. Hujan. Yeah. Ah, Hujan. Hujan. <laughs> Hujan. No, 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 no. <laughs> yes. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Who else What's other music too? do you like locally? I mean, of course, it's very difficult for us to listen to new, fresh music in Malaysia unless you're following a minister's daughter or something. <laughs> uh, I mean, thank God she's got an album and she's quite talented yeah, also. She's a, um, yeah, she's a Najwa. Yeah, she's a great yes. singer. Her album is, is great. I mean, it's, it's nice to hear a lot of soul singers out there and she's definitely one of my favourite singers. How about Yuna? Yuna's great. She's folk, you know. Don't um, bluff. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really into folk music, but, you know, she's doing a, a vogue? <laughs> She's not doing no folk music. What book? Like, come on, book. No, right? Um, I forgot you Indian. You can I speak English properly? <laughs> folk. Folk music. Folk. What did I uh, say? I, you I said folk. I said folk. Okay, say folk. Folk. folk, folk. Mary Guaylo also cannot speak English properly. <laughs> I mean, what's wrong with you? Anyway, yeah, Yuna. And Yuna also is doing really well abroad. She is, she is. Both Yuna and ZRV, yeah. Yeah, yeah. ZRV. That's the other name. Yes. That girl made it big before anyone made it big. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if she knows Jack Johnson really well. <laughs> I'm wondering how well she knows Jack Johnson. You never know. <laughs> I know I want to play his guitar and ride on his swing all night long. Sure you do, ah, girl. Ah, see now we go now we go international already. Mm. Okay, so now we stay local and international. <laughs> we must straddle both worlds like me, of like course, that drag queen, like that must straddle both worlds, right? Yeah. So why do you think us as locals, I mean, we have great history music here, you know, our our historically music challenge people here. But we still have to be influenced by all this Kuala music. Why do you think that is? Eh? I think it's, imp- I mean, for me, it's important for songwriting. You know, I grew up listening to all sorts of music and local music was not something I grew up listening to. Ellie I mean. Cats? <laughs> no. <laughs> you didn't listen to the Ellie <laughs> Cats? No, but I think it's it's natural. Like a lot of us gro- growing up, you no, know. No Kumala Sari? <laughs> She's great, but she's not an actress, I think. She she sang songs. Oh. Hati is eh, so untuk siapa Ah, tomorrow is the for who? Okay. Ah, like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I think you know it's it's a, it's a natural thing to listen to international art, in, international music, English music. So um, yeah. Who do you listen to? I know Do you I listen. You pretend to listen to Pink Floyd like that. <laughs> I well, I love rock music. I mean, that's what my I grew up listening to. You know, that was my um, wow blues. You know, Johnny Lee Hooker and and Buddy Guy. Yeah, hey, don't watch porn, huh? <laughs> this <laughs> blues and don't hooker. No, no. <laughs> what is this about? This is a PG rated show <laughs> <laughs> only for porn dance and gay men. <laughs> Motown. So these are my influences. Motown. That one also for the gay people. <laughs> 
Motown. <laughs> I like. Anyway, okay, okay, back, back, back to me. Yeah, Motown. I love Motown. So you, you though, I mean, how did you, as a Malaysian young Tangachi girl, how do you get your hands on all this music? Well, my dad, my, my, well, my dad, you know, sang all his life and, you know, um, through him, I listened to the Carpenters and, you know. That's very blues. That, <laughs> no, no, but the Carpenters are so blues. No, but the, the blues and, and rock music is something that I, I, I discovered myself, you know. I was reading, I remember reading The Counterculture of America and suddenly I, I have a list of like a lot of the rock music that was happening in, in Haight-Ashbury and one led to another and next thing you know, I know I'm listening to this whole lot of other rock stuff, you know. And then next so. thing you know, you're singing in a pub. <laughs> Yes, huh? I didn't grow up thinking I was going to be a singer-songwriter until I met my husband, Rob. Talking about this singer-songwriter, and she's not bluffing. She will always tell you the first time she meets you, you know I'm a very serious singer-songwriter. Mm-hmm. I'm a very serious songwriter. I've known her for like nine months, like having a baby like that already. <laughs> and she's still telling me, you know I want to be taken seriously as a singer-songwriter. I already took you seriously the first time. Aww. Don't have to tell me now. <laughs> she really writes some amazing music. I mean, what inspires you? You. God, you, you. everything and anything about life. I write about love, life experiences, anything. You know, I go to a shop and I'm inspired by groceries. <laughs> Letters <laughs> and tomatoes <Exactly>. like that. <laughs> oh, you're very talented. <laughs> you know, I come back home at 4 a.m. and I decide to write a song about, you know, 4 a.m. You know, so like, anything and everything about life. So you copy Gwen Stefani, right? <laughs> She wrote a song called 4 a.m. Yeah, four, it's called 4 a.m. in the morning. Oh, really? Because 4 a.m. cannot be in the afternoon, isn't it? No. Yeah, it has no, to be in the morning. Yeah. So That's how? What else? So why else do you think we always listen to so much foreign music? It, I feel because we don't have enough local music to listen to, right? Yeah. How do you feel about it? I feel the same way. You know. Um. Wow. I. I mean. Okay. I have to say. I mean. I suppose Zainal Abidin was something that we all could appreciate. Yeah, you know, we Shila all had the hearts for him eventually. <laughs> and Sheila Majid. But beyond that, it was you know I didn't really look uh, to be honest i've not listened to much malay malay music i also someone so told it's me it's not hard for me to no you know, you, you are known it. for like nine months but i never found this out until today when i had to talk to somebody else mm-hmm. about it you are a fan of zaiton sameon <laughs> oh yes i did <laughs> i mean who in malaysia at this point especially anyone <laughs> under the age of song? 25 you know, before the accident was it that? Yeah, 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 the yeah, one where the she thing? wore the feather duster I about her, yeah. She wore the feather duster at Juara Lagu. Everybody wore feather duster in the 80s. No, no, no. Zaitun Sameon was oh, the first one to it. walk around with a collared feather duster. Oh, she made did. Of feather. She's That's amazing. Was a long time ago, honey. Zaitun Sameon, for all of you who are under a certain age, she was one of the fiercest diva singers we had in the country. And for, I mean, I love her to death. Really, she was, she sang songs that really pulled you somewhere, you know. It was the, the beginning of the diva music, I felt. Oh yeah. yeah. There was only one song that I, I listened There was to. only the one song yeah. before her unfortunate accident. Yeah. It was unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, I see you listen to Zaiton Sameon. Oh, oh my god. My god. <laughs> okay, all of you listening to this show, please go and Google Zaiton Sameon and try and officially download her music, okay? Okay. There's no illegal downloading allowed. Okay, so let's talk about the foreign. Let's just move into foreign music. Oh. What do you, who do you listen to now? Oh, um Amy Winehouse. I mean she's no of longer course, God bless her hair. She's so <laughs> I love the beehive. Mm. Adele. Oh, Beehive! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, but Beehive too. Right. Um, Adele, um, you know, um, God, just, just to name a few, Coldplay, Kings of Leon. Um, yesterday I was listening to The Stranglers, um, you know. Why, do you, why are you listening to such evil people? <laughs> why are you listening to The Stranglers? <laughs> the, ah, 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 only <laughs> what are you talking about? It's British music. Yes, British music. What I like to call sometimes shoegazing. Because <laughs> you know, they do a lot of shoe... I don't know why they call it shoegazing. Because yeah. they just cannot be gazing into the audience. They want yeah. to gaze at their shoes. Right. Is it because like they're that. serious musicians? No, because they just don't know how to look up. Ah, okay. But I like the Kings of Leon. Mm. They're not really English, are they? No, they're oh, they're not. Yeah. No, they sound so English. They sound very English because they just want to be somebody. <laughs> I like that because they don't want to be. Somebody, they yeah. don't want to be American. <laughs> they don't want to be Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be UK. Like that. But I think they made it in the UK. I think they were quite famous in the UK. They were. Yeah. They were much, much, much bigger there before they suddenly hit their own hometown like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, of Pittsburgh, yeah. Arizona. Like Jimi Hendrix. I mean, he was famous uh, in the UK before you know. Hendrix. Before, yeah. Oh, Hendrix. He's like. That is like rock and roll falling from the sky, man. That one is some Tambi boy. I don't know where he came <laughs> from. The cute so one, talented. cute Tambi boy. Yeah, very cute Tambi boy. <laughs> so, so, how come you never marry a cute Tambi boy? Let's not go there. <laughs> no, let's go there. Let's go there. <laughs> huh? Um, 
it's you know uh i don't know um rob came along and i he watched me sing in this blues bar i was singing janet joplin move over and he was like oh my lord <laughs> girl can sing and i remember the first conversation i had with him was about music and we just gravitated to each other's you know musical vibes and next meeting we're married and we're happy yeah, so, yeah. sickeningly <laughs> look at them also like uh, like Ooh. Like so jealous. Oh. They're very tall. He's even taller than her. And she's like seven Thank feet tall. Thank God he's taller than me. Oh my God. I wouldn't want to go this seven feet tall short. Tangachi. I don't know which <laughs> plantation she grew up in. Suddenly stretched so long like that. And then today she walks into the studio with her high heels like that. Like not tall enough. Like. <laughs> huh? I, I wanted to show off my new shoes to Sheila. You show off, show off on the camera now? Can or not? Show it off, show it off. You just stick your foot up. Huh? Oh, Imagine Rob is here. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be very impressive. No, I don't think you'll be very impressed. No. <laughs> no, sorry, Rob. I love you. <laughs> so, did you yeah, realize? Yeah. Did you realize? Okay, okay. Mm. Uh, Esperanza Spalding released a new album last week. Right. It's called Radio Music Society, okay. which is a brilliant, brilliant album. Mm. Have you heard it yet? No, I've not. Okay, you must hear it. Okay. And then Madonna also released an album this week. Oh, Have how you was that? Oh, okay. I love Madonna. I think she's the queen of anything, but this album, I don't understand what she's doing. But you know what really got me really excited uh-huh. in a cradle snatching kind of way, which I shouldn't actually. Justin Bieber has got a new song. Oh, oh. I know, can and it's called Boyfriend. What? How wrong is that? Yeah, what is he trying to say? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's admitting something. Who is he like, going out with now? Selena Gomez. Right. How do I know all this useless pop information? <laughs> I also don't know. You know what I mean? But I'm very gatal every day. I'm always, always scouring the net legally <laughs> to look for new music. And right. I'm on iTunes all the time. So, of course, I'll see like... People like Esperanza and Robert Glasper and it's on the same page as Justin did it. Right, right. And Madonna and all that. Maybe so he's trying to like, you know, he needs a wider audience. So maybe his boyfriend just seems to be an appropriate song. For who? His boyfriend? You know, not just the masses, like, you know, attracting other... <laughs> okay, we cannot say too much after Justin Bieber, that 12-year-old boy, sues right. me because oh, this God, show is okay. also in being heard in the America. I wouldn't you know? want something like that. Yeah, but well. I want to see you on YouTube. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> iTunes. <laughs> It's, it's happening, it's happening. Um, I'm going to be releasing Hello soon, and um, hopefully that, you know, takes off. And and you're on YouTube, right? Yes, I am. I have got my own YouTube channel. Yes, yes. Puva. Bumper to bumper. Yeah. And then you also have to like her on Facebook, but she never does anything on her page. Like. <laughs> I'm a very private person. What rubbish. <laughs> I don't tweet or write about what I do every one hour. But you have to be a star. I know, I this know, is darling. Malaysia. The pond is so big, small. <laughs> you must be a star. Oh. You will be a star. Oh, thank you, Sheila. Star. <laughs> okay, I don't no, have a bigger ring. No, you don't have. You don't no, have. You okay. just got a bigger husband only. <laughs> no, so, I mean, okay, what else? What else would you like to do this year once the album comes out? I think I should, I really want to be, you know, to be honest, I want to be in a in a big stadium singing in front of like thousands of people, having a big band in front of me, and tour. I really want to tour. You don't want the band behind you, is it? <laughs> what did I say in front of you? You want the band in front of you. <laughs> no, no, I said I want a big band backing me up. Ah, back. <laughs> you see, that's why I tell you. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> she want to vote, la. <laughs> <And then laughs> now she want to have the band in front of her, la. <laughs> oh my god, you're making me nervous. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I do want to tour and, 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 and expose my music to diff- in, in different countries. Yeah, that's what I really want to do. <laughs> I think you will. I, think I, I hope amazing. I will. It's about time. Yeah, please catch her on YouTube. Just listen to her sing. Don't listen to her talk. Because sometimes <laughs> I don't know what she's talking when she's doing her live show. But when she's singing, she's quite amazing. Like the first time I saw you, I thought, wow, this girl, my God, she can sing. And her songwriting skills are not bad either. No. You're really, really good. Thank you, I Sheila. really do wish you very, very Thank well. Thank you so much, Sheila. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me in your show. Yeah, and I'm sorry, Ross, that Puva came on first. Sorry, Ross. We love you. <laughs> we love you, but yeah, she came first. <laughs> so never mind, Ross. I'll get you on the show eventually. Just she will. decide whether you want to be in Penang or KL. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, yes. Because she can't decide where she wants to be. And that's the other friend of ours who's going to be eventually, hopefully, releasing an album too. Can't wait for that. So, so a lot of, yeah, so a lot of you local female vocalists. Thank huh? you, yeah. We no rock. male vocalist releasing where albums. Where are huh? they? Where are the men? Reza Saleh, where are you? It's time to release another album. <laughs> this time you have to change the ice cream flavor on your album. It's no more Stracciola Rotella. <laughs> Can you make it something easier for us to pronounce like rum and raisin? Because I tell you, a Malay boy want to sing Italian gelato songs. 
kind of what he's been listening. Have you listened to Reza's mm, album? No, I have. Booba, you must support the local music industry. I know, I do, but I don't know where they're performing. What they, you know, I. I Reza Salis album already released. Oh, released. Not like yours. You can go and pick it up from the shop for twenty nine ninety. At least you can hear his music. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, so you is, go is it good? Is it good? It's not bad actually. Mm. Yeah, he's pretending to be a Chinese boy. Why would he do that? I don't know. He just likes to sing songs like a Chinese okay, boy. Okay, okay. Sorry, Reza. I love you. I think Reza may be one of my guests on my next show because you know what's happening. You know what's happening, Uba. Okay, what's tell happening? Me, tell me, tell me. Next month is the return of the Bo Cameronian Arts oh, Awards, cool. where yours truly, when I'm not in Ashila, I'm Edwin. And I'm a judge. Ah, but Ashila, surprise, surprise, something's gonna happen for the awards night. But the whole of next month, every episode of Sheila talks, I'm gonna be talking to some like pseudo performer <laughs> I mean some of them can perform some cannot la, but I have to talk to them anyway kind of have to be unbiased with my breaks and everything yes. right? yeah so come and join us too oh please invite I me know, I will I will so do you have any last parting words to say to to the soon to be admiring fans be passionate in whatever you do in your life that's all I, that's all I can say really. passion passion being passionate is very important you really don't have to PR yourself huh? <laughs> I need a PR manager. <laughs> Parting shots is thank you so much for supporting me. Those of you who have come to know Black Tie like that. La. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, do one more time. Okay. So, okay, Puba, do you have any parting shots to say to your soon-to-be admiring fans? Right. I've got a show next week in No Black Tie on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, make sure you're there. And thank you. And thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, so <laughs> thank you, Puba, for thank coming so on much, the Sheila. show. Have we done? Are we done? Isn't this fantastic month? So, it's the end of March, everybody. Stop marching and sit down and be the fool. Because tomorrow is April Fool's Day. Stop playing all the practical jokes, okay, Parliament? Just do what you have to do. All right, everybody. This has been Sheila on Time of the Month. Ow! Oh, with my very fabulous friend slash guest Hi. slash soon-to-be rock star in the stadium, Puba. And we are so enjoy ourselves this weekend. So, we hope you also enjoy yourself, okay? And so, this is it. Closing shot for March. The first quarter of 2012 is done. That's right. So, today... Today it was the spirit of friendship and spirit of local music and listening to foreign music. Mm -hmm. And now we have to get ready for the second, third and the final quarter ever of the world. Are you ready? This has been Sheila on Sheila Talks at the time of the month. Bye!